Hey guys, what is up? My name is Ashley Nicole and I am an indie author of four, might as well say five, published books. I make weekly vlogging videos um, showcasing my lifestyle as an indie author. I also am now starting some sit-down chit-chat videos where we can talk about some of the things that I've done along my author journey. As you can see by the title of this video, we're going to be talking about what happens if you miss a pre-order. I also also have started doing some live chit chats on Wednesdays where we just sit down and talk about whatever comes up. So if that sounds exciting to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my next video. So as I said in the intro, today we're going to be talking about what happens if you miss a pre-order deadline. Uh, I'm talking about on the back end as far as how Amazon will um, go forward treating you, how your readers may or may not react, um, how your sales may or may not look. So this is just, of course, my experience because as most of you who watch my channel know, I was supposed to release my new young adult paranormal fantasy, Double Toil and Trouble, back on May 17th. And due to um, some moving circumstances, it didn't happen. Um, it's actually July now and it is being published. Um, but due to the hiccups along the way, pre-orders did get canceled. Um, or well, they got postponed on my website, canceled on Amazon. We're going to get into that. But just so you know, um, I'm just going to tell you my experience, just in case something like this ever happens to you, or just in case you're just curious. So, as far as uh, pre-orders, what I did is I had paperback pre-orders set up on my website. Um, that way I could send out a bunch of goodies with the books, uh, as well as a signed copy. And then I set up ebook pre-orders through Amazon. Now, I promoted both. Um, anytime I talked about the book, I would send both links. Um, obviously, I like promoting my paperbacks more just because I love that personal touch of signing the book as well as sending out the extra goodies because I just think that makes buying a book so much more fun. So I, I would give both, but for my paperback pre-orders, I think I have around 15, which exceeded um, my goal, which I wanted to get at least 10 paperback pre-orders and I got about 15, I believe. So I did get over my goal, which was great. Um, for Amazon, I think I had about five or six ebook pre-orders. Not as much, but like I said, I didn't promote it as much. I was definitely pushing the paperbacks just because, again, it's so much cooler for me. Um, but anyway, so, you know, 20 couple pre-orders um, that people were expecting on May 17th. So since that didn't happen, how did everything react? So, we'll start off with um, the paperback. So, with paperback pre-orders, of course, it was on my own website. So, the deadline was, you know, self-imposed. It was, you know, under my own discretion of what would happen. So, to the 15 or so people who got paperback pre-orders, as soon as I knew it wasn't coming out on the correct date, I started sending emails. So everybody who ordered got an email saying these are the circumstances that are going on. I'm hoping to release soon, but I will let you know a date once I know one. Um, and everybody emailed me back, was very cool about it. They were like, you know, we understand, life happens, thanks for letting us know. I felt better about it at that point. Um, but then the moving process started taking longer. So then we hit mid-June, you know, a month after I was supposed to release the book and still no release. Um, so I sent out another email. Just wanted to give you an update. Here's what's happening. I apologize. I apologize so much. Um, and I also offered, um, discounts for another book that they may want. I offered the... Um, ebook version of the book for free. Um, I feel like there was probably something else. Um, but I definitely, I, I, and I also told them, you know, if there's anything I can do to make this right, 
um, by you, just let me know because I sincerely apologize for missing the pre-order, you know, for missing the release date. Um, cause these people, they, they paid for my book and they were expecting a book and they hadn't got it in a month. And I, I felt like, I don't want to say I felt like a failure, but I definitely, I didn't feel good. So, you know, everybody again emailed back. They told me that they still understood. Um, they appreciated the coupon code. Nobody took me up on the ebook pre-order or the ebook uh, version just because they said, you know, I've got a long, you know, to be read list. Uh, so I'll just work on it while I wait for your book. I mean, all of my readers, and I, I think that was key is being upfront and being transparent with what was going on, being apologetic, keeping in touch with the ones that ordered. I think that creating that relationship definitely helped, you know, make sure that nobody was getting upset over what was happening. So, like I said, they, they were all very understanding and, you know, very appreciative of me staying in touch. So, you know, again, about a month later, because we are now, you know, in July, I had sent another email, you know, giving them the, we are actually moving this date finally. Um, and just another apology, but also an update. And of course, everybody was again, okay. So as I am now starting to uh, order the copies for these signed editions for those who ordered off my website, I'm confident that nobody is going to be upset that it's been two months. I mean, I'm sure people are anxious because they're like, oh my gosh, I, you know, I wanted to read your book and it's waiting a little longer than it's supposed to. But I don't think anybody is going to be upset um, just because, you know, we've had this line of communication and so far everybody has told me that it's okay. So as far as pre-orders from my website and reader reaction, it hasn't been bad. Um, you know, I obviously, I don't want to make this a habit. This was absolutely not planned. Um, not for the way it unfolded. I mean, the move came very suddenly. Um, but it was also supposed to be a very quick move. And just due to some things that were out of our control, it lasted two months um, plus. So it wasn't meant to happen how it was. So going forward with other releases, I don't foresee this being a thing just because it was crazy circumstances. So I, I release dates are going to be better moving forward. So that leaves us to how did Amazon respond? And I feel like partially this is my fault. So I had set up the ebook pre-order before the ebook was completely done because that's what you do to start getting pre-orders. You set it up before the book is done. And we had decided that we were moving. So based on the timeline I was originally given, I was going to be able to move, then upload the ebook to Amazon in time for pre-orders. Um, that didn't happen, obviously. Uh, so I, I, you can, you can, um, change your pre-order date on Amazon one time. And so I did use that extension and I moved it out a month. I, I thought I was giving myself plenty of time. I moved it out to June and I was like, you know, worst comes to worst, we move in and then I release early. And then that next release date comes and we're in the midst of all the moving stuff and it was incredibly stressful. And I completely forgot that I needed to release it by that date to Amazon. And I also couldn't change the date again. I'm sure I could have canceled pre-orders maybe, or I, I maybe even could have reached out to customer service and told them, you know, the circumstances and asked for, you know, an additional um, postpone. But I didn't because, as I said, we were in the middle of the stress and I, I forgot. I dropped the ball personally. So the deadline came and the deadline went. And I, of course, didn't have the file uploaded. And so Amazon was like, that's bad. 
we are going to cancel your pre-orders, which like I said was like five or six. So those five or six people just probably got an email saying this pre-order ain't happening. Here's your money back. I. But anyway, um, but then also Amazon decided that since I can't be trusted to have a pre-order, I am no longer allowed to do pre-orders. I think it's for a year, um, which is fair. Like I said, this was my fault, so I can't I can't necessarily be upset at them for imposing their own rules. Um, but it's definitely discouraging because I could have avoided it and didn't. I I hope that those six people who had pre-ordered do come back eventually and be like, oh yeah, that book. Um, because I have no way of, it's not like on my website where I have their email and I can just tell them what's happening. I don't have that on Amazon. And I think that's another reason why I really like it when people order from my website is because I can have that line of communication. You know, if something is going on, I can, you know, reach out um, to the reader versus Amazon where it's canceled. I, I don't know who they were. Um, so... That has been my experience with what happens when you miss a pre-order deadline. Um, both positives, you know, as far as, you know, my readers being supportive and being understanding and being patient. And then Amazon being Amazon. <laughs> like I said, I, I can't fault them for doing their job. But at the same time, it is a little frustrating that I did miss out on those sales, even though it is my fault. So anyway, I hope this was interesting. Um, like I said, I'm going to start doing these sit-down videos weekly with just, you know, aspects about my author life. So it could be, you know, mistakes I've made such as this. Um, it could be how I personally do things as far as like, you know, scheduling social media or hiring an editor or just odds and ends like that. Um, but I'm also going to be continuing my weekly vlogs to where you just get to see the behind the scenes of me being an author. Um, and then, of course, our weekly chats. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week and keep an eye out for other videos coming up. Um, Wednesday will be our weekly chat. And then Saturday will be my next writing vlog where I'm going to be telling you all about finally releasing Double Toil and Trouble. Have a good week, guys. Bye.